So I have a couple of cloud instances and uh, I use those cloud instances for uh, uh, demonstration. Like right now, if I have to show you something, I'll show you on my cloud instance. But I also have uh, uh, my service desk, which I'm really proud of. And I, I, I recently set up this service desk because I wanted to channelize the request, the requests so that uh, you guys uh, send me. And I try to try to answer them whenever I get time. And I thought I'll probably uh, share something uh, really interesting in case you want to do something similar. Now in Jira, there is a concept of uh, application links. And uh, using these application links, you can uh, actually connect. Uh, so you can uh, connect uh, to Jira instances. And this can be uh, really interesting and useful. Uh, and we'll, we'll try to explore uh, what all we can do when you have uh, issues linked from one Jira instance to another Jira instance. Today, let us uh, try to simply create an application link. And uh, then of course, uh, whenever, we, whenever we get chance, we'll, we'll try to do further integrations. Now, to create an application link, what you need to do uh, from one Jira instance, uh, of, of course, this has to be done on both the instances, but uh, let us say you're logged into uh your your jira instance which is your source uh, there's technically it is not really a source but your jira one uh, in this case it is my service desk and uh, let us say the requirement here is that i want uh, if i receive a ticket from the portal i want to maybe link it to the development activity and uh, and that development activity is happening maybe uh on a different instance of jira so let us see and by the way we are talking about jira cloud to jira cloud so let us go to system and uh, to be honest, I have, I, don't, I have no idea how to do it on the cloud. Uh, on server, I know that you have to go to application links, but uh, I'm trying to figure out where is the application link on cloud. So I'll try to figure out very quickly, hopefully uh, if I can find it. I mean, of course you can use the shortcut here, L but I want to find it. I'm trying to find it. So, okay, I think I need to go to products. Okay, yeah. So we have this uh, application links, which is uh, on the left hand side. If I click on it, hopefully I can do something now. So we'll use the other Jira instance, which is in this case, uh, my, let us say this is my internal Jira instance, where I will be working on the software tickets. And right now, you can see here that if you have a cloud instance and uh, if you are, if you also have Confluence, which is usually, which is usually the case, uh, you will have this Confluence already linked to your Jira. Now, when you're trying to link or integrate G, uh, not Jira, but not just Jira, but Atlassian applications, they're all, they they most of them can be linked to each other, integrated with each other using application links, and that is what we are going to do. We are we will be using application links. Now, let us. Uh, create a new link and it is of course a uh, uh, very straightforward process. There is no, you don't really have to do anything technical here. You just need to follow the process. So it will ask you to confirm the URL. Okay, we can confirm the URL and it will then ask you, I, I am an admin on both instances. Okay, and uh, continue. So when you do this, you will be now redirected to the uh, other Jira instance, which is in this case, uh, let us say my internal Jira instance, and it will also create a reciprocal link for you uh, back to the uh, back to the Jira instance from where you origin originated this link uh, creation. So let us confirm, and uh, you're now being redirected back to Jira. I guess uh, the same Jira instance. And once we have the application link, then uh, we can do something wonderful with this, and we'll 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 now explore uh, what all we can do. So it will take maybe a few more seconds. I can see here completing the configuration of the link, blah, blah, blah. It will, uh, it will, uh, it will now create a link for you. And there, there is a, there is a status that you can see here, like uh, whether this is uh, connected or not. So once you have this uh, link connected, then you can do something wonderful. Now let us say, let us go to the other Jira instance, which is uh, in this case, my, uh, maybe my, internal Jira instance and uh, not everyone ha uh, not everyone has access to this instance 
but your software team is working on something great they are they are resolving bugs and they are developing great products and uh, for for issues reported from the portal you may want to your your jira service management you may want to link it to your internal jira bugs or uh, different jira instance basically so let, let us go to one of the one of the issue and i'll probably go to let me find uh, something that i can uh, use uh, or maybe i'll just uh, it is my own jira service uh, desk so i'll just create a new incident maybe for example for this uh, demonstration purpose so i'll probably select my service desk do i have a service desk i should have a service desk here i will probably go to i don't really want to mess up this instance i want to keep it clean and i'm being uh, very careful about this jira instance so i do not really have i just have one jira service desk so it's okay let's just create one one uh, one issue and uh, it's okay uh, although it is a live project but it is just one issue and uh, i will then uh, link it to a bug maybe and uh, let us see what all we can do i'm also exploring along with you so within my service desk maybe i want to report as a system problem which is of course the request type uh issue reported from from jsm and uh, let us say we are talking about jira 1 instance and i will not really worry about other fields i'll simply uh mm, yeah i think uh, i'll probably leave other fields as it is but let us create let us create the issue and uh, once you have the issue created you can of course go to the issue you can take a look at the sla and of course you know this is uh, your typical G typical jira service management incident so you will have your own process but in case you have to link it to another issue you can and uh, that is what we will do today and uh, once you have this issue uh, raised you have of course the option on top to link the issue now it says here link issue or web pages and there is also this uh, major incident which we don't which we don't really want to uh, do right now because uh, it is basically it is going to link it to ops genie and i am still not 100% sure about uh, ops genie features i am exploring it and i will definitely share whenever i get it, whenever i get a chance but if i click on the button here link issue it will it will uh, show you this uh, option to uh, link it to a jira instance uh, which is local or uh, the other jira instance where you need to authenticate so you if you click on this authenticate it will uh, ask you to confirm that do you want to allow your user uh, which is of course me but uh, do you want to allow this user to link it to a ticket which is uh, on your target instance and uh, maybe we want to link it to one of the issue which is let us say in this case uh, an i'll probably uh, take a look at let, let us say this is uh, for android project so let us go to the backlog and find one uh, issue key that we can uh, use and uh, we will then link it so i think i'll probably find uh, okay I'll, i'll probably use this one an-21 and uh, let us search for the issues so an-21 and uh, exact key okay and uh, we will now we will now of course link it to the issue which is on a different jira instance and uh, you can of course uh, click on the button that says uh, link and uh, when you have the linked issues you can of course uh, uh, see here the status which is right now to do so this is good now this is great um, and if i maybe go to this uh, jira instance and if i change the status manually of course if i change it to in progress i can uh, hopefully see this status here uh, which will be uh refreshed 
when I refresh the issue. So if we, if we refresh the issue, it will uh, bring in the latest status from your uh, linked issue. And uh, it is on cloud, so it is not super fast. And because I'm using a free version of Jira, I'm actually considering buying uh, Jira Premium because I really want to show you insight and advanced roadmaps. And uh, I don't have an instance where I can show it to you on cloud, so I'll probably buy it. It will cost me some money, but it's okay. It's not, I hope it is not super expensive. I need to check the price for, I guess, one user. Okay, so you can see here that uh, this is in progress and uh, it is good. Uh, I, I like it, but what if you want to link it to, uh, I mean, in Jira, we do have this concept of create a linked issue. So if you click on the uh, button here, that says, of course, you can uh, you, you can uh, use this option to link it to an existing issue, but uh, it, maybe you want to create a linked issue. So if you click on it, let us see. Let us see if we can uh, do something. If we can create an issue which is uh, which is going to be in uh, a different instance of Jira. So if you if you click on the create linked issue, it will uh, of course uh, uh, let you create an issue, but not on the target instance where you want to create the issue. So this is quite good. And and if you go back to the original, uh, let us say, an hyphen twenty one which is uh, the issue uh, or the bug that we that we uh, that we used to link it to the Jira service desk ticket. You can of course see here that uh, uh, we do have this uh, <clears throat> this uh, link that will appear here hopefully in a couple of seconds. It is uh, not su not super fast. So we can see here that we do have this uh, Ravi 35 which is I believe the incident that uh, uh, that I raised and of course you need to authenticate so let me just authenticate very quickly so you have to do it I guess in the beginning so basically you are giving your user permission to create a link and navigate uh, to those links if you want <clears throat> so it will take some time for some reason it is not really very fast for me I'm not really sure if it is the case for all the free Jira cloud instances. My internet is definitely okay. It is not super fast, but it is okay. All right. So you can see here that uh, for the linked issue, we can see the information like I believe the assignee and the status and the priority, which is great. And I think uh, this this information can be can be really useful if you are uh, trying to link the tickets. Jira service management tickets to your uh, development issues. And right now, of course, we are talking about Jira cloud to cloud. And of course, in this video, I just uh, created the link. And uh, of course, uh, even to create a link, you need to first create an application link. But we will uh, try if, uh, if we can do a bit more than just uh, creating a link. Of course, we can take a look at the status of the issue. Uh, but maybe because you have these two issues linked to each other, you may want to do something else. So we'll 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 try to do something else, and uh, and uh, let us let us cover that aspect of what all we can do, what else we can do in a different video. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.